welcome to money. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what was that? What the uh, fuck? We'll get into the box, the botch of the cinch, <laughs> the flop of the cinch. We'll get into that, but welcome uh, back to the Jobber Circle <laughs> Wrestling Podcast. Uh, what a weekend it's been with WrestleMania. Yeah, you know? definitely uh, delivered, I'd yeah. say, uh, for the most yeah. part. For the, for the most, most part. part, yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> um, we'll jump right into rating WrestleMania Night 2. Of course, if it gets a 1, it gets a potato or only negative rating uh, on our rating scale. Uh, 2 gets a pop, you know, it means good, it's solid. Yeah. 3, this is awesome. 4 is elite. And 5, our best rating you can get is a brass ring. Yes. Starting off the night, you know, night one started off with the big match with uh, John Cena and Austin Theory. Night two started off as well with the literal and uh, figurative big match in <laughs> yeah. um, Brock Lesnar and almost. Yeah, thought it was pretty crazy. Um, it was a good way to start. Um... <coughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, no, it just um, it seemed kind of short. It did, right? Yeah. I think for the first match, it was kind of short. I think Brock Lesnar was ready to get out of there. <laughs> right? That's exactly <laughs> what I said. It, yeah, as soon as he's the first match, you know he's just going to yeah get out of there. As soon as the match is over, he's not sticking around. Yeah. Um. You know, a, a match that kind of, I mean, I think it did. We were talking about in our prediction episode that almost kind of needed to win this match. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, even though he didn't win, of course, if you're watching this, maybe, you know, you, know, you should already know the results. Uh, if not, uh, almost ended up winning the match. Uh, or um, oh, sorry, almost ended up losing the match. Right. Um, he was winning the match m the majority of the time until like basically the last two minutes where Brock pulled out three German suplexes, you know, taking him to Suplex City, mm -hmm. and then just dropping him with one at five, and um, yeah, that was pretty much it. So, uh, were you gonna say something? Yeah, I was gonna say it was pretty crazy in the beginning to see Omos just like throwing Brock Lesnar because I feel like Brock Lesnar so used to being the uh, the biggest guy in the match uh, that it was kind of probably intimidating. And I know we said that before in a prior episode. Right. Um, it was just kind of crazy to see that. Um, he just throws him like nothing yeah yeah no and that yeah that's um yeah that's what i was trying to get to before in my brain i squiggle around everywhere but no you're right uh that's basically the point is even though he didn't uh win the match he still kind of you know got over in a way with right. showing his dominance because the majority of the match was almost until you know just brock took over at the you know typical what brock does right you know take over at, at the end and win it but um i I'd give it a two. I'd give it a pop. I'd give it a two also. Yeah. I think it was a pretty, it was a solid match. Mm -hmm. Solid, good popper. What'd you think about this next match? <laughs> the Fatal 4-Way Women's Match. The Women's Showcase, basically, basically tag match. Women's Showcase, yeah. Uh, I think it was pretty obvious from the start who was going to win this. Uh, yeah, you had your uh, Yeah. <laughs> you had your teams that were very put together that weren't even real teams to begin with, uh, except for, the, of course, the winners, uh, which were Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Yep. There were some highlights throughout the match. Uh, Raquel kind of lifting, you know, Liv Morgan, throwing her outside of the ring. Yeah. Uh, Natty's double sharpshooter. Oh, yeah, that was, that was pretty. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a really good spot. Uh, and then just, of course, at the end, Ronda with the win. Um, yeah, just picture spot. Pretty predictable. Yeah, yeah, pretty predictable. That's true. Um, but this one... I don't really want to give it a potato. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, I think I'm going to give it a two. Yeah, for WrestleMania's sake, yeah. I'll give it a two. Mm -hmm. It gets, a, it's a, gets like a pop. It gets a pop. Now, Bobby Lashley <laughs> then came out, uh, you know, to get his WrestleMania moment, I guess, because, you know, he was originally supposed to face Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. But, of course, as we said, Bray Wyatt got injured. So, Bobby's basically WrestleMania spot was on Friday. Right. And the Andre the Giant Memorial by the Royal and him winning that. And then he just came out with the trophy, too. Yeah. And even and for a second, I thought hmm, they're going to bring him out. Is, could something happen? Could somebody come out? Uh, yeah. But it was, you know, about a <sighs> minute long out there that he got to bring out the trophy, show it off for a sec. And then that was it. Uh, again, so <laughs> again, I wouldn't want to give this moment a potato. <laughs> I guess it gets a pop for the moment. It did get a pop you because know, I give, even said too. Moment, yeah. I even said too that trophy looks pretty damn heavy. Yeah, and, and he's uh, all lifting it. He's lifting it. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool too. You know, they probably I just picture him in the back. You know, oh, we can roll it out. He's like, no, I'll hold it. <laughs> so, I thought that was right? pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, no, that was. Uh, then in Intercontinental Title Match: Gunther versus Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus. Now this, whoo, what a match! What a match! What yeah, a definitely. Brutal brawling brute <laughs> type of match <laughs> that's a good way to put it yeah yeah chop after chop after chop like yeah. it was a chop fest <laughs> it was a slobber knocker <laughs> my chop god City. yeah <laughs> so um i really think sheamus deserved it i really think sheamus did deserve it but um you know that was kind of the 
the story of the match too is just when Sheamus was going to win that title that he's never had. You know, Drew McIntyre kind of kept ruining it for him, and then in the end, it ended up being Gunther that just you know taking them both out, right? Uh, to win it, so. right? So basically, I feel like Gunther got to uh got to take a break there for because for a second I was yeah. like, um, where did he go? Mm-hmm. Uh, nowhere to be found. Uh, shows up and does and retains it. So um, I don't know. I guess that part was pretty upsetting. Yeah, but I mean, I, I guess if they want to keep going with the longest reigning you know, intercontinental champion of this century. Like, isn't that kind of crazy that we've we've already reached a point in the 2000s where, like, we're literally 23 years into the century. So we can actually start saying, like, this person is the longest blank of this century. Right. Because essentially for the last 23 years. Like, that's just crazy. It, it just, is pretty crazy. It still crazy. blows my mind that I, like, that just time goes by so fast. Yeah. We're already in 2023. We could say he's been the longest champion of this century. And then I think you mentioned something as far as the intercontinental title that, you know, that you haven't really seen this much importance to it. Honestly, yeah. You know, until now. Yeah. They're, they're making yeah. it such a big deal. And that's why this match with how hard hitting it was, how just awesome it was, like they even mentioned, it's not going to get style points, but it still in a way does because just it was like, I guess, different in a way to where just, man, I don't know how to describe it. It was it was typical WWE style type of match, but it was also different. It was just like, I don't know. That's yeah. basically my point is this, along with the importance of the intercut, like making it, bringing it back to its level of importance, because I feel like even the U.S. title has kind of like over the past recent years been kind of put in a higher regard, especially like with John Cena on the open challenges. Like it's been kind of put even in a higher regard than the intercontinental title, but they're really bringing the spotlight back on that. And like how they were saying the the work, you know, the workman's title or the workhorse's mm-hmm. title. I forgot what you what they use. But yeah, um, yeah, that. This match and just that bringing that status back to the Intercontinental title, brass ring moment. Brass, brass ring. Brass ring match. Definitely give it a five. I yeah. guess it's 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 good to say that I like, you know, of course, the Intercontinental title and the U.S. title are not as uh, big as the, of course, the Universal Undisputed. Yeah, they're like the mid-card titles. But... Right, they're like the mid, but that just proves like that even if they wanted to, they couldn't even be a low-tier title because of how popular, you know, not popular, but, you know, how big of a deal that they are. Yeah, yeah, because uh, for a while there, they kind of were lost in the shuffle. It's kind of just like, because I feel like even saying mid-card titles kind of does a disservice to it because, no, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you think like weight classes, like, uh, uh, you know, welterweight champion, you have a welterweight champion, then you have a heavyweight champion. It's like, it's not supposed to be seen that like that heavyweight champion is better than the welterweight just because right. he weighs more. Like, they're still the same level you know, lever, <coughs> lever, level, level of champion. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, they're just in different classes. Same right. thing with like, I feel like the universal and the like belts, like the intercontinental and the U S title, it's supposed to be like the universal. It's like, you're like the wrestler and the face of the company, but like, like something like the intercontinental, like you're like the workhorse, you're like the badass, like, you know, wrestler of the company. Right. You know, but not in the lower level. Right. Not exactly. Mid card level. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And I mean, what else can you say? I mean, we gave it a brass ring, so. Yep, definitely, definitely deserves. I would say match of the night, honestly. Oh yeah, match of the night. Yeah, yeah. Considering the main event, which we'll get to. Yeah, and then <clears throat> the next match we had the Raw Women's Title, of course, uh, Bianca Belair versus Oscar. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we had their pretty, uh, pretty cool entrances. Uh, Oscar's masks are just so like unique. I feel like it's so they're they're so impressive. I would say, uh, you know, the design. So you, of course, you had your uh, the lineup of. Um, different Oscar, some Oscar masks, I guess you, you could say. And then, of yeah. course, she's at Wonder the end. Oscar, please stand up. Yeah, literally. So then she's at the end of the line. Uh, and then just her face paint, everything is just her style is just so cool. Uh, yeah, with her it really gear. is. It really is. Um, and then I remember last year, WrestleMania, Bianca had, um, I think she had like a choir or something for hers, if I remember correctly. So this year she had actually like an all girls dance team, which was really cool. Uh, really impressive because I don't know, just seeing that kind of just made me like think back, like how much I wanted to be on dance team. <laughs> I know it's like not really like what, you know what yeah. we're talking about, but I just saw it. And I was like, man, like I really wanted to do that. So they had a popular uh, dance team known in, um, uh, well known in Los Angeles called Divas of Compton. Mm-hmm. Um, just you know, little girls and just man, they can move. <laughs> yeah, that just goes to show how all, all aspects of wrestling, like even things like you know, epic entrances, can resonate to people in different ways. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty cool. the match itself was, you know, it was. Uh, well, actually, this wasn't the main event, like by 
they had two matches after this, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, so this was a clear, I guess they were already planning to put it in the middle of the card, but right. it's still delivered as a main event match. It really did know? for the women's. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of course, the downhaul w- or downfall was when Asuka, you know, sprayed the poison mist and uh, yeah, that didn't work out. Completely Bianca missed. And- <laughs> Did you really see Bianca winning this match? No, I didn't. I mm. really thought it was going to be Asuka. You know, Bianca's Bianca being the wrestler she is, I love her. Uh-huh. But like, I found myself at the end of this match saying like why you know right. like love her but why um because i feel like oscar really deserved it especially after her return uh recently you know and she um um she won elimination chamber right was that the last thing she won yeah okay yeah um i just really saw like after her her i would say mighty return um right. that she was going to be winning this and sadly nope. she didn't <laughs> yeah I guess there's more uh, in store for Bianca Belair, like Triple H did in the pe- press conference. We got, oh, the story keeps going. Yeah. We'll get to that. The story <laughs> keeps going. So we'll see how the story keeps going for Bianca. Oh, man. I'm going to give this match a three. I'll give it a three, too. It was yeah. pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. Pretty did we even rate Gunther? Oh, yeah. We did give it a brass ring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then. And then the, my favorite the part of the night. <laughs> the flop of the cinch. Man. Poor guy. So we had Shane McMahon. Of course, Miz, Snooper were in the ring. You know, of course, they were talking about how he had that match with Pat McAfee. So Miz technically had a match two nights in a row because Snoop called him out to have another match. Right. And, um, yeah, it was uh, Here Come the Money. <laughs> the Shane O'Mac. The Shane O'Mac. Makes his triumphant return after the whole uh, run. Real Rumble last year, Shabakle. First, he loosened up his knees, uh, <laughs> running down the ring and dancing, and then you th- even said too when he got to the ring, you were like, "Oh, he's kind of winded." Yeah, and then <laughs> thirty seconds into the match, it was just completely blew out his knee, very noticeable. Oh. Um, and then <laughs> I had to get that laugh in there. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I feel yeah, bad we don't for even laughing. Laugh. Yes, I feel terrible for laughing, but like. I feel like it's my way. My way of laugh or <sighs> laughing is my way of like trying not to feel so bad. Because, Does my like, turmoil no. amuse you, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> the office reference. Yeah. Um. Oh. So then we had the medic sweep in and uh and get him. Uh, <laughs> Miz just kind of stood there, like you know. I, I wasn't really expecting that from him, but he really just like had no idea. It's like you don't expect something like that to happen. Why was Shane trying to pull out that move? I don't know. So quick. The, yeah, leapfrog so move <laughs> in his. Con- oh god. Yeah. Like he's not. I'm sure he had ring rust. I'm sure. Like if he did train, I'm sure it was only for a few weeks. Right. Like if this was just sudden, not planned. Like it must be a McMahon thing. Uh. <laughs> Considering, remember when Vince uh, blew his quads, well, literally both, entering the ring? Both of his quads at the Royal Rumble, yes. Oh, man, oh, but nevertheless. He's like, throwing out his jacket, he walks in, he's like, <laughs> and then, like, the, the next shot you see him, he's just sitting there, and the rest talking to him, he's like. <laughs> Can't move. <sighs> but nevertheless. Oh, yeah, his legs are um, out like this. <laughs> but anyway. um Okay, yeah. nevertheless, Snoop Dogg uh, comes in and uh, Snoop. Snoop Dogg swoops in <laughs> and saves the day uh, really, really great, uh, greatly. Um, so he basically he's takes over the pro. match. He's he is such a, pro. such a pro, right? Yeah, and he's been in the business of like, you know, filmmaking in Hollywood. Yeah. And, you know, all that, you know, he was used to it. Yeah. And he, yeah, he swooped in like a pro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, considering like how I was saying before, like Miz kind of just stood there, didn't really know what to do, wasn't really expecting it. Uh, and then Snoop, you know, was thinking uh, way ahead than Miz. Very impro- improvised. Yes. But, yeah, it was awesome. Very improvised and impressive. So, um, yeah. So Snoop uh, basically defeats. Uh, yeah, it took, ended up taking out the Miz with the people's elbow. Yeah. But he didn't have an elbow pad to throw. So I wonder if that was improvised, too, that he threw his glasses into the uh, audience because I'm pretty sure – that was uh those glasses of, you know glasses cost a bit of bit of cabbage yeah and for he sure just willingly for the for the bit uh-huh. threw him into the crowd yep. man what a pro he probably just had to get into it what a pro yeah and for I'm sure, sure that's gonna be a great moment for him to remember you know as as being a legit wrestling fan yeah um so that's awesome that's yeah just, that just yeah should we I rate this for Shane should we rate it uh, and we're gonna rate it but I feel so bad for Shane because <laughs> right after Shane blew out his knee and Snoop Dogg they never mentioned Shane again. 
they no. would never mention them again. No. Even the announcers, when they like cut back to the camera on the announcers, they were like, we can't believe it. We just saw Snoop Dogg just defeated Miss. And it's like, what about Shane? What about Shane? They like, were like, nope, that never happened. Yeah, <laughs> sadly. He, never, who, he didn't come back. Yeah. Oh, my God. Poor guy can't catch a break. First, he gets fired after the whole Royal Rumble shabacle. And then he comes back and blows out his knee in 30 seconds. Like, I, we don't mean to laugh and poke fun, but, like, it's just like... Yeah, it's like myself. Like I said, it's like sometimes you gotta laugh at your pain, right? You know, uh, like I. It's <laughs> exactly what it I've is. I've loved Shane since I was a kid, and I still love Shane. But Jesus Christ, that sucks, man. I think, s- sadly, you know, uh, what? Well, with what happened to Shane, but considering how Snoop saved it all, uh, I think I'll rate this whole thing maybe like a three. I thought it was awesome. Not With the improvisation, yes. yes. Okay, I'll give it a three. Yeah. I give it, this is awesome. Even <laughs> for, God, we're going to remember this moment. I know. It's I It's going to be Shane this generation's too. Vince blow out, blows out his quad. <laughs> That's, yes, It's going to be definitely. this generation's of that moment. Definitely. Oh, oh man. Uh, Edge and Demon Finn Balor, or I am not even don't even say Finn Balor because the whole match, they're just the demon, the, the demon, demon, the demon, the demon, the yeah. demon. It's like, okay. They're really like milking it. Very comical. Yeah. But um, Edge versus Demon Finn Balor in the Hell in a Cell. Yes. Uh, so you had... Uh, I... You thought... I... <laughs> I mean, I think maybe one of the coolest parts was the entrances. Uh, you know, you had Brood Edge entrance uh, looking like the Disco Skull from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> If anyone's seen this Scooby Doo movie, Spooky Island. yeah, from Spooky Island, we should uh, uh, we're gonna tell our daughter this is a uh, brood edge. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah, and then um, oh, my glasses are all fucked. Up. I guess apparently no Gangrel entrance. I know that was as sad. was rumored. As a lifelong was, Gangrel really... fan, for those who don't know, I only got into wrestling because some people, like I've always said, some people get into wrestling like my brother because of the rocks. Yeah. Some people get into wrestling because of Stone Cold. I got a wrestling because of Gangrel. Yeah. That was the first thing I, I... I had watched wrestling for a few weeks, but that was the first thing I saw when I was like, oh my gosh, who are these guys? Yeah. And it was the brood. It was but pretty, yeah, pretty it upsetting. I was really looking forward to that. I really thought that it was going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you had D, uh, the demon Finn Balor with his... Um, how would you describe that? You know, you had the smoke and then you had his tentacle head. <laughs> it's like you it's like I don't know. I feel like that's like the old school versus like the new school like kind of like alt metal type of person where it's right. like you had edge like the badass actually like leather jacket got the disco skull. He's yeah. got, you know, the fire and all that and then you have Finn Balor with the streamers and you know smoke like he's at an EDM show <laughs> showing his tongue. Yeah. You know, like he's <laughs> off a of perk. <laughs> off of perk. Or whatever they take. I don't know. Yeah, I don't whatever know. Whatever the either. kids do these days. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, what? How old are we? Oh, my God. Um, But no, yeah, I just feel like, like uh, this whole demon baller, like, I, I, at one point I was like, kind of looks funny, don't he? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then you know, starting the match, uh, they got pretty much right into it, bringing out the kendo sticks, the chairs, uh, and then even the tables. There was a few table spots. Um, and then how about that ladder? <laughs> how about that ladder hit? Oh my god! <laughs> so, so of course if you've seen it. There's this point where Edge throws the ladder, and um, I guess you know causes yeah. finn balor it's to finn balor and... yeah i mean you're throwing a freaking ladder at him causes finn balor to bleed um and then it was kind of awkward from there um because you had about like a how long would you say we should have timed like two that minutes, <laughs> two minutes two... Two, two to three minutes yeah. uh stalled where it just looks very obvious that they're you know patching up finn, finn yeah, balor just because he's bleeding a little staples or whatever yeah and it's yeah. like I understand, like, you know, the safety of the performers, but I really feel like it should be at Finn and Edge's discretion. And it's like, you know, if he really was like, no, it's fine, you know. I mean, he's it, covered in paint. Would he, you even have been able to see yeah, that but he was he, bleeding? Yeah, he was really pouring. Like, he started pouring <laughs> quick on the ring. But so I understand the safety part, but at the same time, it's like, this is wrestling, people. Yeah. We know this. This is wrestling. <clears throat> and Finn's, a, you know, Finn's an old school guy, you know, by at least an old soul, but mm-hmm. he, he knows, like, that that's what happens. Like, like even why... if yeah, even if the intention was to not bleed, right? Like, still, like I'm sure, like you said, if it was up to them, it'd be like let's just keep going. Yeah, it's <laughs> like this is a hell in a saw match where right? it's like supposed to be like the epitome or not epitome, like the uh, pinnacle uh, of this whole feud that's right. like been you know 
like a brew like what do they call it like just like a blood feud basically yeah. and it's like this is supposed to be the pinnacle of that and they can't even bleed yeah I'm like what and then you have your sponsor of the match which is the pope exorcist movie literally and, and then it's like you have the demon yeah. versus this dark side of edge this brood edge yeah and the hell in a hell in a cell this blood feud and no blood allowed the second somebody bleeds you're gonna stall the match <laughs> for two minutes and even the crowd was yeah. booing every time the every time the camera cut away to the crowd mm-hmm. like yeah that really like I, like that's why I, I come out of the match saying like it's all right because the literally as we're gonna talk about the main event you get to a point where the momentum gets so high and then there's things that just like just throws it off and you're just like okay well that lost all of its momentum yeah just throws it off completely um and then they think they can win it all by um you know edge with this concerto uh winning the match so brood edge wins yeah it, it i guess after that they really delivered and then it ended well so mm-hmm. considering uh, edge won i know this was your question before the match do you see this being his last wrestlemania now i really hope not yeah. I'm going to say for Cena, I really hope not, but he did yeah. win, so. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. We really don't know. It might be his last mania, but yeah, it's definitely not his last match. Oh, yeah. No, I wouldn't say that either. Yeah. 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 I mean. I cons- bet, okay. Yeah. I think when we go back and watch this match and knowing what happened with that mm-hmm. blood spot, and I'm sure maybe they'll just cut it. Right. That little part out. Yeah. I think going back, it'll it'll be a really good match. Mm-hmm. to go back on it's just in the moment it was just like what the hell yeah you know yeah so i'll still sure. give i'll give it a three i'm gonna give it a three too yeah nice um <clears throat> then of course the hall of fame uh moment um we don't really have to rate that it's kind of a bonus moment you yeah know? <laughs> yeah well actually kind of let's given. do that how would you rate this hall of fame class uh, a two yeah i'd give it a two i was really disappointed when i realized that they were not inducting anyone else after yeah they you know no tag announced the yeah they really should like i don't know if they i don't know if they've actually devoted or um like confirmed it but like they should have like a tag team wing yeah you know they have a celebrity wing yeah yeah and then even prior to even prior to friday whenever they uh had their hall of fame ceremony i even asked like you think this is it and you're like no normally it's a tag team or a faction or both yeah uh and there wasn't that this year so i don't know maybe they shouldn't have enough time to prepare or something maybe but i don't know yeah i don't know what's going on there be yeah all these uh questions might be answered when when i guess the announcement comes that they're expecting you know buy other company yeah um we'll get into that again at the main event uh, um uh which was actually yeah now <laughs> yeah here we are so, we've arrived at the main event <laughs> yeah uh, the universal undisputed wwe heavyweight champion of the world yeah God, what Robert, do Robert what do we Reigns even say about Cody. this epic entrances i really i really dug their entrances oh yeah the pyro and just I think the you know they didn't have like they didn't have like the epic band or like you know choir or whatever. Uh-huh. But Roman did I have guess, the pianist. Oh yeah, that's true. He did have the pianist. Mm-hmm. But I think too the just the fact the length of the entrances really <laughs> did it justice of being like <laughs> epic and then having multiple sets of pyro go off. Yeah, I really like the the you know the last entrances of WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. As for the match, um, you know, typical Roman match, which is solid, good, you know, starts off slow and yeah. then, you know, a lot of trash talking and then picks up. Um, man. I really wish this would have ended differently. I think we all. I mean, like the shock, the uh, the betrayal. I felt. The betrayal. The deception. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to have Roman really destroy this huge momentous moment for cody at least have him win it clean at least have a clean finish yeah i know maybe they you know did a dusty finish where just you know people getting involved so cody can you know what are you gonna do have cody rematch roman at backlash is that gonna be the next one pay-per-view backlash yeah. Or did they move backlash to after backlash was always after wrestlemania and then they wanted to fucking move it now yeah well the next one is the puerto rico one. Oh, it is backlash okay yeah. so okay good Glad we're back to that. Anyway, what are you going to have? Oh, oh, you cheated at WrestleMania, so we're going to, you know, have a rematch at Backlash. 
Are you yeah. going to really have Cody win at Backlash? You really going to if you have Cody win at Backlash, it's almost going to be even worse than Cody not winning at WrestleMania because it's like, wow, you really destroyed that WrestleMania moment. So have to have Cody win at Backlash. OK, so Cody's not going to win at Backlash. So then you're going to prolong Roman Reigns reign to uh, over a thousand days. OK, great. So then who's going to uh, you better have a damn good plan with who's going to uh, defeat Roman after the thousand days, because if you really think it's going to be Cody and you destroyed that WrestleMania moment for Cody, you're going to now destroy the Backlash moment for Cody. You really expect Cody to be the one to come and face Roman a thousand days and it means something then? Mm-hmm. Like, it's going to be kind of destroyed. Like I said, right. the momentum is there. And like Triple H said, you want to, oh, you know, uh, he talk, Cody Rhodes talks about finishing the story. The story never ends. It's like, yeah, the story never ends. Doesn't mean the story's not going to be shit yeah. from here on out. Yeah. Like, you know? And I feel like the longer it goes on, like, why? Uh, And, and even, too, like how you, you mentioned Triple H when he talked about that you know, the person who needs to, who's going to be the one to come in and take those titles from Roman has to basically be on the same level as him. So basically you're saying that co- that's not Cody? He, he so basically, like, what did that yeah, mean? without, I don't even know if he realized that he basically said that's not Cody. So yeah. sorry, kids. Which is really shitty. Sorry, kids. <laughs> yeah. Which I, is really shitty to say. You know, yeah. At the end of the day, you know, I, I even said I'm, I'm not going to care who wins at the end of the day because yeah it is going to be cool to see roman reigns with that thousand day reign yeah but like i said two points like i said like you ruined this momentum for cody so don't really expect don't you know when cody's not over if i hope he is but if cody's not over in six months i hope WWE's not the one they're like oh uh, why is cody not over it's like well because you ruined yeah because you for messed that up <laughs> yeah um and then another moment is like if you are going to really make Roman, yeah, that's going to be cool. Yeah, he's going to go over a 1,000 days. But like I said, you better have a damn good person to put over yeah. when they defeat Roman when he's been champion over a 1,000 days. But as far as WWE goes, it's probably going to be someone like Omos. 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 Like, How do you say it? I think it's Omos. Omos. It's mm-hmm. going to be someone like Omos. Yeah. Calling it. WWE keeps having its way. Omos is going to be the one to defeat Roman. Oh, God. I can't even see that. I can't even see that. And like how you said too, um, just considering how this match ended, you said you felt like night one of WrestleMania was a very Triple H yep, way night. of doing things, and night two felt very, the light, very, very Vincey, very Vincey. Yep, <laughs> yep. It's like Triple H got to have his night, and Vince got to have his night, and yeah, um, yeah because you had three, just... you had three titles on the line tonight, and no title change. It was just typical booking, yeah. typical booking. Yeah. Yeah. It was very, uh, man. Why? Yeah. Why? It sucks. <sighs> you know, um, way to way to end the weekend. Like I said, Cody's momentum, maybe it's not fully ruined, but you definitely, oh man, that could have been such a moment for so many, so many people, especially Cody. But, um, yeah. you know, could they be doing this? Because it's like, hey, you went, you still at the end of the day, you know, turn your back on us and went to start another company. Right. Like, you really think we're going to give you the ball? Right, right away, when you come back. So yeah. you know, I mean, what do you expect? Triple H spent his career burying people just so he can stay on the top. You really think he's going to do the right thing now? Yeah. No offense. Yeah. I mean, I'm just stating the obvious. But here. that's really Don't sad. Don't get mad when I say facts, people. That's real petty. You know, that is what I mean. So that's the actual Mark answer that why um you know Roman could have retained. But I really right. think the like you can go the business answer is WWE does have a sell pending. It looks like. So could this be part of the plan that like, hey, Roman's going to stay champion for now just until everything goes through. Right. And then when the other company takes over, we'll see how things go from there. You know, let's not change things too many things too quick right now. That's true. You know, Who knows? That could have been, like you said, in the somewhere in the fine print. Yeah. Maybe, you know, Roman being the face of the company right now is part of the pushing of the selling of the of the company. Yeah. Um, Man, everything's so it could be business. that could be the business route, most likely like we always is. Yeah. Um or it just could just be um holding off for somebody else. Yeah. Everything's about bi- the business and the money. I know exactly. Yeah. Right? Because ooh, not, we thought Cody was going to be the guy the next exactly. guy, but clearly I, I guess not now because yeah. like when when are you going to Cody win? SummerSlam? Next year WrestleMania, it's not yeah. going to be as big as and then any no. other pay per view in between, yeah, not going to be as big, yeah, as Especially what you could have created. C- considering he was the Royal Rumble winner, yeah, I feel like it was just the perfect opportunity. Now, like, okay, so then what? You're going to have a new Royal Rumble winner next next year? Well, I mean, it's typical by now. Like, uh, there, you know, there's been a few Royal Rumble winners. Same thing with Money in the Bank. Mm. That 
you know, it, it's you know, it's always still the flip of the coin. You know, not all Royal Rumble winners win. Right. Not all Money in the Bank winners cash in and win. You know. Right. Um. Yeah. But then Oscar too, Elimination Chamber winning, and then yeah, she didn't win the, uh-huh. the title match. So I think that's cool to have here and there, just to sh- just to kind of prove that um that could happen. Right. You know, just because they don't they win one thing doesn't mean they're going to be guaranteed mm-hmm. that spot. But still, Cody should have. Cody should have won. Yeah. And I think because like how we say too, when we rate these matches, we take everything into consideration from beginning to end, and considering the end and the way that we all wanted it to go, but it did it. I'm going to give this match a three. I was going to give it a two. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Like, I understand Roman's the guy. And, like, I don't fully dislike how it ended, you know. Mm-hmm. I guess in the moment I hated it. But, like, now, after looking back, I'm like, oh, was, you know, still a good night. Still a good match. Yeah. But it's just, like, it just leaves me wondering, like, where do we go from here? Yeah. Usos lost their titles. So, it's like, mm-hmm. Roman's going to go back to Roman bullying them. Oh, oh, <laughs> right. I won, y'all lost. Exactly. Like, acknowledge me. Stay in, <laughs> stand in line, and it's like, like I said, why not just have him win clean? Yeah. Just so you can like give Cody like some credit that he didn't lose, you know, or that he lost, um, unfairly. Right. But still, like you're already ruining his momentum. So why? Yeah. You know. It's sad. But this I mean, is shit, this is the reason why he left because of shit like this. Right. Yeah. You exactly. Know? Exactly. And um, I don't know. I'm just being a mark, I guess, people. <laughs> no, it was the time and it just didn't happen. But overall, I think. Um, I think at the end of the day, we'll be fine with Roman to, you know, mm-hmm. can stay as champion. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I it's been be 945 right. days. Yeah. I'm just not going to get excited for any upcoming, upcoming time of match because he's not going to lose it yeah. anytime soon. people. Yeah. That's very true. Like yeah. we get our hopes up for nothing. Yeah. Oh, God. Watch Brown Breaker come and take be the one to defeat his reign oh my god like who who yeah that's Besides, what i mean like, There's really I, because if you have anyone that's already like a veteran it's like just no automatic no like yeah. no bobby lashley no rock no brock like you can't do that because yeah. if, if that's really going to be the person to defeat his reign that'll, that'll be as bad of a decision as having brock be the one to defeat Undertaker's WrestleMania streak. Like, it's like, he, he did not need that. Yeah. You know, so The Rock doesn't need it. Like, no one needs that. Like, you know, yeah. no no veteran needs that right now. So if you're going to have someone defeat Roman, it's got to be somebody that's going to be, like Triple H said in the press conference, the next guy. So who's that? Is it Almas? Like, yeah. is it Braun Breaker? Like... You can't really see it. You can't really see nothing right now. Because we all thought Cody... Cameron and nothing... Grimes, there's, you know, that he's getting caught up. He's He's gotten jacked. Like what, who, what, who? What? Who? Yeah. Who? 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 Xavier Woods. <laughs> who? I have Xavier Woods. <laughs> I'm saying I'm calling it right now. Xavier Woods. You know, you know he needs to come back, Biggie. To defeat, I know. It, that would be really cool. That would be really if cool. It was big, yeah, man, that would be really cool. If Biggie <laughs> yeah. came back and defeated Roman. Oh man. There's a universe where that's happening. Man. Well, we don't want to end this podcast sad now. I know. Jesus. <laughs> that was really depressing. <laughs> well, Biggie's uh, doing better. He's yeah. happy. Mm-hmm. You know, he's doing uh, a lot of Snickers commercials, which is awesome. Sure he's getting all the Snickers he wants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's well, too funny. Yeah. We hope you all, y'all enjoyed WrestleMania night one and night two, people. I know um, I did. We definitely did. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm going to end with giving this uh, a three. It does get it. This is awesome. I think at the end of the day, you know, we, we you know, as wrestling fans, you know, we, we tend to get a little marky sometimes. It don't fit. Yeah. We think we don't get our way. But we got to remember at the end of the day, it's uh, yeah. all subjective. And, you know, some things are just best for business, I guess. Yeah. We got the um, marks inside of us yeah exactly so uh no i think all in all happy for roman i'm, I'm really hoping he does what well, now he better go over the thousand day reign <laughs> you know i, what I mean? know so i mean um, so close already so yeah but yeah you can uh follow us at jobber circle on social media be on the lookout for uh, jobber circle uh reddit group and facebook group yes or uh, and um i guess discord we're gonna try to get into discord i don't know how i'm getting old already where these freaking social media apps are already like where I'm like, what is that? What is a Discord? How do you use it? <laughs> it's like a chat room. 
<laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ, what's going <laughs> on, much. people? But oh, yeah, um, you can follow our flagship show at Cave in Universe and then um, get some Jobber Circle bonus content, uh, patreon.com slash Cave in Universe. Get the Jobber Circle tier where we do our, uh, uh, you can request wrestling watch alongs. Got to do that without getting tongue twisted. Yeah. Request wrestling watch alongs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we'll watch your favorite events uh and or matches um and yeah uh what else you gotta say babe um i don't know i think this is a great weekend overall uh i can't wait to uh so we already got the announcement for next wrestlemania uh next wrestlemania 40 the philly and philly you think so. wrestlemania 40 roman's gonna lose it if you're gonna if you're gonna have him go over a thousand days and you really want to make it epic yeah you might as well just wait till next yeah. wrestlemania all right yeah. Roman's going to lose to almost <laughs> at next WrestleMania. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I bet you Roman's going to lose to someone at next year's WrestleMania and then he's going to cha- and then he's going to do open challenge right then and there. And he's going to say, "I'm going to do open challenge <laughs> for my title. Who's, you know, who's going to be the one to come out and beat Roman? Here comes the money." <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh yeah happy. i think we ended there yeah i was gonna uh, say happy wrestlemania season, literally guys. i was just gonna say happy wrestlemania 